Excuse me, I need to go to Karachi. How do I get there? It's a nice task to remember Dr. Pfau. But many memories and impressions do come up. And uh, condensing them into within the nutshell of a short video clip is equally impossible as trying to reach Karachi on a motorcycle. Now, what are the highlights? Dr. Pfau was one of the few medical professionals who realized the importance of social support for leprosy patients from the very beginning. Not only she realized it, also she found people to work in it. Whenever Dr. Pfau talked about her work, she mentioned her team. From the very beginning it was clear to her that she could not meet the medical and social needs of people affected by leprosy alone and without the support of uh, Pakistani, Pakistani people. But it was very impressive to see that Dr. Pfau, after she retired officially from her work at MLC, settled in the middle of the hospital in a small flat where she could live. Uh, she continued working, she gave uh, looking after patients and um, she was able to travel, visit projects, to join any meeting she was interested in. And the organization that she had helped to set up, the organization she was a founder of, looked after her needs when she got old and more fragile. And MLC, together with sisters of the local congregation of Dr. Pfau, were at her side until the very last minute of her life. Um, I'm still impressed by the working principle or policy of Dr. Pfau and MLC to serve the poorest of the poor who do not receive support from any other side. I think it's absolutely important to support this target group as whatever social change and development one would like to achieve in a project or country will not be um, will not be really successful or sustainable until the poorest of the poor do benefit from it. The best way to remember and understand Dr. Pfau is to visit MLC and see the work there. What is done by MLC staff for the poorest of the poor and people in need follows the spirit of Dr. Pfau and somehow keeps her alive for us.